What you guys got another video here for you now in this video we're going to be taking a look at how you can easily fix any windows issue or problem with your computer whether it be uh, corrupt registry corrupt windows files uh, malware on the system any of that stuff and you can quickly fix it uh, by reverting back to a previous snapshot that you've created with this software that I'm going to show you. Now the software that I'm going to show you is not free but if you're one of these types of people that always get infected or always have issues with your computers uh, and you want to revert back to a previous time when it was working safely then this could be the video for you. Let's take a look at the actual software we're talking about. It's called Rollback RX Professional um, and as I said this this is not the only type of software that you can purchase that does this type of thing uh, but if you are one of those types of people that uh, fall foul to this sort of stuff all the time then this is a really good option for you uh, they use this sort of stuff in schools uh, and, and places where people use the system regular um, that, that don't own that computer and what they do is they completely go back at the end of time at the end of the day uh, so the system is nice and fresh and clean for the next day that way anything that's happened on that system during that day will then roll back to a perfectly clean system the next day that stops all the infections and all that sort of stuff so let's take a look at what the program has to offer as well it has a lot more to offer than just um, malware um, problems it also if, if you pop-ups or windows issues you can revert back and it should be fixed in a heartbeat so let's take a look here common tasks this gives you the uh, rollback system if you look at the rollback system this is your uh, the actual uh, snapshots that have been taken now these get taken how you want to take them by setting up a schedule or it does this in the background it will schedule a snapshot and take it in the background once you've set it up without you um, worrying about it it's quick and easy to do as you can see they're very uh, small files but it allows you to lock them or unlock them depending on what you want to do now if they're locked it means they will never ever be deleted by the program or or any of that stuff it will stay on the system and be protected now you can see the baseline um, installation this is the very first uh, snapshot that's taken and that's important because normally when you firstly first install windows you want to uh, have a nice fresh clean version of Windows and that's when you want to install this program when you've got a perfectly updated and clean version of Windows and uh, that's what you want to take the first installation snapshot of and the reason why you want that is because if you ever need to roll back to that time you can do and you know that that is the best possible uh, solution for you then you can uh, make your own snapshots or you can let the schedule take snapshots here and uh, these will just happen in the background now you can take a look at uh, the next part here which is the recover files this allows you to recover files so you can see here how would you like to recover your files if you know the file that you want to recover uh, you can put the name in inside here if you know the file type you can also put the name in there and search for it and uh, if you, and if you know uh, where it, it's located i.e. in my documents you can also do a search for in my documents and it will search all your snapshots for that for you uh, so it will search all your snapshots uh, for that file for you or that folder for you so it depends on what you want to do if you want to explore and you know where that file is you can always do it that way as well and you can explore your snapshots here so if you want to explore your snapshot you just open up the explore part and uh, just just say we're on this snapshot here which I've highlighted and you want to pull a file out previous uh, from a previous snapshot forward that you've now rolled back from but there was a couple of documents in there that you wanted then all you need to do is just explore that uh, snapshot here and then you can open the virtual uh, drive and it will allow you to ex go into this uh, location and pull out any files that you wish from there okay and drag them straight to your desktop pretty straightforward and easy to do once you finish you can close that virtual drive and you've now pulled and saved that file from there and it's now onto the snapshot that you are using at present so you can go backwards and forwards uh, on snapshots now what I'd advise you to do is obviously delete a snapshot um, once you have know that there's dodgy 
uh, corrupt files on there or malware you want to delete that snapshot because you never ever want to roll back to that again because you're going to run into problems so let's have a look at the snapshots here you can see here uh, we've got a few options up here we've got the defragment it will automatically defragment the snapshots to keep them running nice and smooth uh, in every time you boot up every now and again it will do a defrag of all your snapshots you can look at the tools area here you can delete snapshots if you wish unlock lock snapshots um, all these sort of good stuff you can do from here uh, if you need to so if this one had malware on it and you wanted to get rid of it because you've now rolled back we need to do is open up your program and click delete and that will delete that snapshot so you can see here timeline and, and, and time uh, tree view so the timeline and tree view this gives you the timeline of when you've created those snapshots which uh, for instance um, you can see here this is when it was actually created and what date and what time it was created okay and how long ago and how old that snapshot is so let's take a look at task schedule here you can add a task you can delete tasks you can uh, event tasks as you can see here there's all sorts of good stuff you can do here so you can set this up as you want the event logs here it gives you event logs uh, to read the event logs uh, let me just quickly take a look at uh, something else here access control you can see access control gives you the enable access control and it will say administrator enabled but you can do other bits and pieces here. You can lock this down if you wish. That system security. See, you can put a, a password in here, authentication for this area to stop people getting in there and tampering with them, or also stopping malware from injecting itself. Maybe a possible way of injecting itself onto those snapshots if that was ever possible. You could always lock them down to stop that happening. Um, baseline manager again this is a reset to baseline which is your very first install you can do it from this location and update uh, the baseline you can also do that here as well and you can read the information here it gives you all the information to what you need to do but it's pretty much self-explanatory and the snapshot defragmenter this will help uh, keep everything running smooth and fast and you've got your settings here which is your language you can see there's an array of languages here you can use also program appearance and this is the advanced settings where you can set up uh, your uh, settings that you want for your um, rollback uh, rx you can see here we've got automatically deep uh, sorry automatically delete uh, unlocked snapshots uh, when the snapshot all is more than seven days old so if it's more than seven days old it's going to delete that snapshot you can up and down this for as long as you like uh, there and you can also free space is below this amount uh, it will also delete those snapshots for you without asking you you may want to change this uh, defrag snap snapshots as well here um, but you get the general idea uh, but uh, when you roll back the system after another snapshot always take a snapshot of the current system so what that's going to do is when you roll back it will take an instant snapshot uh, you can take the out put that in uh, you know keep these files and folders unchanged you can see here you can check, check this and then take a look at the settings if you wish and you can see here there's some settings okay so let's uh, move on let's just show you in action anyway um, what happens so let me just revert back with this snapshot so I'm just going to quickly open this up again I just want to show this bit here this part is the remote manager server login so you'd put this onto uh, a system which you want to remote in say I wanted to remote in the system we're looking at this would be no good on here because we're actually already on the system this will be on another system and you use this to log into your uh, system that you want to make changes to so you can do that on a remote uh, location and you can do it on a network where you can just control all your computers from one location so let's uh, roll back a system I'm gonna uh, just roll back here to one day ago 
I'll just take this one here and all you need to do here you can see we can click on these and it gives us some information it's unlocked but if we want to uh, do some recovery all we need to do here is come here roll back your system pick your uh, schedule rollback which you want to go back to so we're going to go back to this one click next it's also going to take a snapshot here before you roll back if you wish it's going to go yep and we're just going to go restart so it's going to load the snapshot up as you can see here and there we have it we're back to the desktop and as you can see it looks slightly different the wallpapers changed there's some bits and pieces that have changed and the reason for that is because we've now rolled back the system you can see you have just rolled back your computer now for instance the reason why this is a good feature is because if I went to install something on the system uh, what you could do is before you install that piece of software just in case something goes wrong you can take a quick snapshot install the software and if something goes wrong you can always revert back to your previous snapshot before you install that software knowing that you've got a safety net right there a little bit like system restore but much more advanced anyway I'm gonna wrap this one up I think we've covered it all uh, in this video so I hope this one helps you out guys my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos if you've got any problems with your computers or any video requests or anything like that then head over to my forums the information's on the screen right now if you want to join up on my Facebook fan page you can do that by going on to the location uh, that I've put on the screen right now you just go there and hit the like button and you've become a fan of uh, Brightech so anyway so thanks again for watching guys thanks for continued support i shall see you again in the next video have a great weekend and i'll uh, see you again real soon bye for now